Okay, so I spent the day uh, upgrading my uh, Tesla coil controller to uh, run on my Arduino with the uh, code that I wrote. Um, these two buttons and all the LEDs are disconnected, but they're just going to be left in there, so there's not big gaping holes in it. Uh, the main power switch is still functional. To you can see, I've got rid of one of the transformers there and a bunch of the relays and stuff. It's there's actually more of a wiring mess this time, but that's because all the buttons have LEDs inside them. So they need two wires. Actually, they need three wires each. So um, we still have the uh, one transformer right here, which gets rectified and then smoothed out with a capacitor there, and then goes into a uh, little uh, five volt USB adapter that I made. Um, I actually made um, a couple of them for USB chargers, but I had an extra, so that's what I used. And then I made a short little USB cable for power. So that goes into the Arduino. And then you've got the uh, arm button right here, the gap button right here, and the uh, high voltage button right here. And each, of the, each one of them has a two color LED inside them, uh, red and green. And then when you're, actually, I'll just show you. So let me put this back together. And give it some power here. Hopefully you can see that. Actually, oh shoot. Let me prop this up in the back a little. There we go, that's better. So I'll turn it on, and I'll turn the lights off real quick. Yeah, let's get a little bit of light. There we go. Okay, so I've turned it on, and you can see that the arm button is blinking red. So I will push it. It'll turn to green, you can see, and then you'll notice that the gap button starts blinking red. So I'll push that one, it turns to green, and then the high voltage one starts blinking red. So at this point, the gap is running and everything is armed, and it's waiting for you to turn the high voltage on. So you push that button, and it turns to green. So now the coil is running. If you disarm it, that goes black to blinking, you have to arm it again, turn the gap on again, and then turn the high voltage on again. Or you can also turn the gap off, turn the gap back on, and then you have to turn the high voltage back on. It's just uh, some safety features integrated in it. So that's really all that there is. We'll go through it again so you... It, it takes a couple seconds for it to load, but... Uh, so you arm it, turn the gap on, and then turn the high voltage on. So. I actually spent a considerable amount of time debugging because the uh, arm switch was exceedingly uh, bouncy. It would not, uh, the Arduino would not catch that it had changed, so I had to increase the delay for that. But other than that, it works great so far. I just have to order some relays and then it'll be done.